Hey guys, today we're going to quickly look at our 2023 Star Wars Celebration London Funko Pop Hall. We got some vintage collection and one black series as well. I decided to bring, because I had to bring all this to London from the United States, I decided to get two Andy Serkis autographs. I had to do one for Lord of the Rings Gollum to join the Hobbit autograph collection that I already have. And then, of course, Snoke. I would have loved a Kino. Uh, from Andy from uh, Andor, but they haven't made any Andor pops or well They have a couple B2 EMO and Val, but they have not made a Kino would love to see a Kino But he did do Snoke as well. So that's a very cool one to get his autograph is gold So it does fit in very nicely with both pops even wrote my Precious at the top of that one very very nice as well. He's super super nice We even talked about film school for a little Brief second. Next up, we got Brian Herring for BB-8. He wrote, <laughs> he wrote oh, we're rolling. I don't even know if that's what it says, but BB-8, very cool autograph, very unique. A little BB-8 drawn on as well. I am very excited about that autograph. Next up, we got Indy Varma from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Talad, who plays that Talad, a Durath or something, but <laughs> very cool. Just a gold autograph on that. Blends in very nicely. Very clean in person as well. And I brought all these vaulted vinyl hard cases, hard stacks, along the way. And uh, they kept them very safe. And only one pop was damaged and it was my fault in the autograph line. Next up, we have Mads Mikkelsen for Galen Urso. And I had to do a Casillas pop from Doctor Strange. So I wanted to do a really cool one. So I got the Disney exclusive... 4,000 pieces for this and got Mads Mikkelsen and by the way yes every pop is Beckett authenticated in this including this we can get more in the future if uh need so but they only had Beckett no JSA or anyone else but Beckett is obviously trustworthy as well very cool and fortunate to get any authentication but I don't always do it, but might as well when you're there sometimes if it's easy, easily accessible, which they're making it very easy these days. And then, uh, so yeah, two really cool pops. He broke his name, character name on that one, Galen Urso. And this was pretty neat because I, I was like, <laughs> this can be a family re reunion now because uh, I just went to the Ahsoka panel and saw Lars Mikkelsen, his brother, announced as live action Thrawn. Very cool. And then next up, we got two amazing pops from Gwendolyn Christie. Captain Phasma Chrome, as well as a brand of Tarth. And this is the pop I kind of bent the back a little bit, actually. Dropped it and caught it and kind of squeezed. Left a little indent. My fault. This autograph says, I'm a lady, your grace. And then a brand of Tarth. Very nice. And then this one. You were always come, Captain Phasma, and that's just all shiny up the wazoo. It looks fantastic. And next to, personally, very excited about these ones, we got some Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano. And she's my favorite. I'm very excited. So I had to get one personalized. So I decided to do this uh, Valentine's Day one. It says at the top, and I had to write my name to Blake from Rosario with love, XOXO. And then, of course, Ahsoka Tano, and she said she thought it'd be funny if she wrote this quote, and it said, surrender or face the consequences, because it's the opposite of love. <laughs> but love it. It looks fantastic. I thought, I think this pop is super underrated. It is a Mandalorian one, so it makes sense for Rosario Dawson over Ashley Eckstein for this Valentine's Day pop. So, um, yeah, very excited to have this one personalized, looking super clean. I was one of the first ones in line. Actually, I was the first autograph. Oh yeah, I did wait, <laughs> but yeah, I love her. She's so, so nice, and a very clean autograph as well. Then I had to do one simple Amazon one, Ahsoka Tana, Rosario Dawson, XOXO, where is Grand Admiral Thrawn, because this pops from the Mandalorian, and uh, yeah, this is just very clean. White looks fantastic, and pink looks fantastic. I love these two pops together. Next up, we got Billy D. Williams as Lando. Just a simple, clean autograph, but it looks very nice. I mean, the pop itself looks retro. He's a clean autograph, and uh, yeah, he's definitely getting older, so I knew this was an important time to go see him, because I haven't uh, gotten a chance to meet him before. So, uh, he's very nice. Um, I even got a little photo op with him as well. And uh, yeah, uh, very excited to see him. 
And then next up, we got our super, super grail. We got a double signature by Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor. Well, Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen on this thin pen. Both of them did it. it looks so clean. And uh, this uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi two-pack I thought it would be super cool to bring and uh, get signed. I think it looks fantastic next to each other. And I think this is definitely a grail. And back it authenticated. So that's pretty cool. I love both their autographs. And I, you weren't able to do quotes or anything at the celebration um, for their lines because their lines were so long. But um, uh, just autographs. So I thought this was an absolute perfect item to get uh, double signed while I was there because I had a certain amount of tickets that I was using. And then last up, we got a one of a kind gem, a Sith Trooper. I went all out acquiring this pop and made an amazing deal on eBay. And this one says, Come to the Dark Side, Samantha Aline. And this, I absolutely love her. Definitely, I could say like a friend now. She was fantastic. Absolutely loving to my family, met her family, saw her multiple times throughout the weekend, saw her at the hotels, literally became friends with her, and she is absolutely amazing. I love her so, so much, so kind, and uh, ju just an absolute delight. Um, yeah, come to the dark side, Samantha Lane. We got the Becca on the, fr on the front. And I did bring this to her, and she did confirm that this was the first one signed. 4923 first sit the Sith Funko signed ever, pew, pew, pew. And since I took the window side, I had to get the Beckett on the front. And this is a very limited piece. It's quite expensive now, so I'm very excited to have this one in the collection. Definitely a grail. I only have this and the Bruno as a first something signed that they, uh, but very cool that when that does happen. And um, she is so, so amazing. I am absolutely grateful, uh, so thankful for, um, now having her as a friend and a true inspiration to me. And I can't wait to see her in more projects. I'll follow her through every project she does from here on out. This is definitely one of my top pops, one of my most unique pops. And if you don't know, from this Sith Trooper is from a specific moment. I'll post it on the screen right here. And um, there's only two Sith Troopers, and she's actually, she's not the this one, the exact one, but she is in the same frame. She is this exact character. So, um, it's pretty cool that it is almost her exact trooper. It's pretty close, um, but nonetheless, it, it, totally, it totally counts <laughs> as her. And she's invited all the time to Star Wars Celebration events, and, uh, yeah, very excited to have that. Overall, the 2023 Pops was a big, big success, and I'm very excited to get. Now let's take a look at the Black Series Infinity Collection. The first figure we got is the Black Series Axe Woves from The Mandalorian. As the actor is Simon, I'm probably going to butcher the last name, Cassianitis. Cassianitis? Sorry, I'm so sorry. But uh, I met him, and I asked him for his favorite, oops, for his favorite, uh, moment of the show and it's when he says he's one of them fantastic and i did get this graded simply because it was easier to ship all these home because i had so much with me anyways it is graded an 85 b85 w85 f90 so pretty good score overall very very satisfied with that i did buy this figure at the convention and we got this autograph a little bit more on the whim but I'm very excited and very happy I did. Haven't busted them out of the plastic yet, but will do soon. Right now I'm just going to show them in. I got another Billy D. Williams Lando uh, from the Vintage Collection. I decided to do this one because over the Return of the Jedi uh, Boosh outfit, because this is from an actual like part of the movie where the other one's a little bit more, of, I believe, an art art print or art on the, uh, on the, on the back of the uh, card. And um, this is the t one that is a Target uh, peg warmer um, during COVID. And I saw it so much. I was like, you know what? I have to get his autograph on it. It just fits. It just makes sense for me. So I did. And I brought the, one of the best ones I could find, which ended up grading at an 85. Let's see if we can. There we go. 85 with the C85, B80, and F90. Very excited overall. 
just to have this in the collection, just more of the story behind it. And again, very clean autograph uh, next to the pop. So you can see he did use two different pens and he was super nice about it as well. And he, I didn't ask him to, he just did it, which is pretty cool. And next up, we got the Revenge of the Sith foil for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ewan McGregor signed. These aren't technically authenticated, but um, I didn't want to put the Beckett sticker on the back of these cards. I figured I'd just get graded, and not just for the grade, but just to encaps encapsulate them forever. I don't want to have to worry about them getting damaged anymore. So, might as well get them graded. And this did score at an 80 plus. So good with C90, B80, F90. As you can see, there's the info. And you can see that, yeah, it came back and I was a little disappointed because bar the barcode didn't print properly. So I don't know if I should send that back. Uh, I kind of just don't even want to bother to say, eh, whatever. It's encapsulated forever. It's staying in my collection. It's not a big deal. But let me know what you guys think. Would you guys send that back or not? But overall, it looks very clean. It does look a little bit like foggy still because of this clear coating on the outside. But I'm going to keep it on for now. I can't wait to rip it off. It'll look really clean. But since they still have some moving, I might as well keep them, keep them all clean. But um, yeah, wow. It looks fantastic. Overall, very clean. Very beautiful card. And last but not least, we got the Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker foil as well. And this one... I absolutely love this card. It looks so good with a signature on it. Hayden Christensen right on top of his character. Absolutely beautiful. And this one rated at an 85 with a C90 B85 F90. So close to a 90. So, so close to a 90. That would have been absolutely amazing. I thought this was such a good card. I was so excited. And uh, absolutely awesome score so we'll take it we'll take it nonetheless but i'm just happy to have these two both signed one at an 80 plus one at 85 the amount of work to collect these two as well as then get the autographs and get them uh graded and finally have them here feels joining my other three graded cards but i did do the top at these ones this one's pretty cool. I see the pattern one needs one last lesson. Sam Wheeler. Absolutely awesome. And then Matthew Wood as well. For You Are a Bold One, Voice of John Grievous. This is the Black Series um, Grievous that I picked up at. I don't know. I, I picked it up at Frankenstein's. Frankenstein's. Yeah. So, yeah. Very, very cool. 80, 85. This one was an 88.5 as well. So pretty clean to get an 85 to join the party. And then an, another 85. So close to a 90. 80 plus. And an 85. And this is all what we've gotten graded on our own. So that's pretty cool. Overall, very, very successful Star Wars celebration. And um, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't be happier with it. Here's a here's a quicker look. Quick look at everything. As you can see, I was doing my other video before. And yeah, here. Very, very, very happy with these autographs to join the collection. Hope you guys have a good one. Until next time. Peace.